Deer 2023, week five. Uh, this week I dropped the ball on activity journaling and I'll do my best to recap. Day 29, I went to yoga, hung out, and finished the day with a campfire by the beach with Fadi, Danny, and Rayon. Kind of rained, it was pretty chilly there. Day 30, spent time cleaning, organizing, and planning. Finished the day with a run to the Golden Arches. Day 31, similar day to the previous day, spent time relaxing and organizing. Day 32, started on remodeling and instantly regretted it. Double Arc did not want the remodel and I decided I wanted to just move things around to get a visual for the layout. Several things went wrong in the process leading to a bunch of tension in the house. I felt frustrated not being able to undo what I'd done. Today we are at a point with a broken water pump leaving us with no running water, having loose furniture and virtually no room to exist whatsoever. I went to Home Depot in hopes of finding a solution for the broken water pump but was unsuccessful. Day 33, woke up feeling frustrated with the living situation and it being completely jumbled. I decided to press onwards and try to make some more progress today. Tensions are still high in the van and Double Arc asked me to put the van back to how it was and I did not do so. Later in the night, we took a small cruise on the bike and we stopped at the Golden Arches before heading home. Day 34, I decided to try plastic welding the nipple back onto the water pump and resecured the water pump in a new configuration, increasing the ease of use, which was a big win. I continued trying to make progress on the remodel and continued trying to convince Double Arc it will all be worth it when it's put back together. Dustin texted me to see if I wanted to join him in fishing at the pier. I decided to use this invitation as more fuel to power through finishing up the van. I successfully put the van together in a secure way. I took Lucy with me to go hang out with Dustin on the pier for a while before I headed home to bed for the night. Day 35, Double Arc and I went to do laundry and my bank had blocked my card from withdrawing cash. I had to wait for them to open to resolve the issue. A guy at the grocery store offered to buy my grape soda, not knowing the issue wasn't about the grape soda. It was about withdrawing funds. Due to the cash withdrawal delay, we were running late, leaving the laundry mat and decided to continue running errands with the full bag of laundry on the front of the Riva. We went to yoga outdoors in the park, which was a wonderful experience on an absolutely beautiful day. Thanks for tuning into the journal, and I'll see you next week.